moral relativism is a pathology that arises only in our culture. Every other culture doesn't have any doubt that, that there is such a thing as right and wrong. They've just got the wrong idea of what right and wrong are. The so-called anti-fascists in America are allowed to just go onto campuses and burn them down and smash everything up and still be called anti-fascists. People who are actually the closest thing to fascists until you see the people in Charlottesville. Usually people who are inclined in a certain direction end up, after talking to each other, thinking a more extreme version of what they thought before they started to talk. The new extraordinary disruptive technology in, in the form of the internet allows all of the various tribes and fiefdoms of the empirically untrue or insupportable to have their versions of reality in which people can now immerse themselves all the time. People are narrowing and narrowing all the time the things that they are willing to hear. I mean, it's amazing to me that people who voted and who gained control of all three branches of government and three-fifths of the state houses in America still think they're an embattled minority suffering under the hands of the man. When you abandon the commitment to our common humanity, when you atomize people, when you believe that only certain types of people have authority to use certain types of cultural ideas or tropes, you efface for me, a fundamental reality of our common humanity and a fundamental tool we can have to interact with each other. Movements are going to have a hard time communicating with one another because they have polarized themselves to extremes. All extremism isn't bad because there are extreme forms of pure phantasmagoria. And if you take the most intelligent person on Earth, you could imagine his evil brother who is more intelligent still, but he just has bad goals. Hey, sleep on dreams.